welcome back to my channel and if you are new then a big huge welcome to you. My name is Sez and I am an autistic and epileptic creator and I upload videos every Wednesday and Friday. Well this is not Wednesday nor it is Friday actually this is our last minute video that's up today because today and this is something that I didn't realize today the 18th of June is autistic pride day and I didn't even know it existed. I know I'm being a little bit repetitive, but I was quite shocked. Autistic Pride Day, I don't know if it's an American thing, but I'm guessing it might be. But Autistic Pride Day has been going since 2005. I know, that's how far behind I am. <laughs> and at the moment, the hashtag Autistic Pride Day is going up on Twitter. So in honor to celebrate Autistic Pride Day, I thought I would just have a little sit down and share with you a little piece of something that I'm working on, but I am in the process of editing it. And if you know me, then you'll know that I have an obsession with Hey Arnold. And one of the main characters I included in my story which I created by myself is on the autistic spectrum and I wrote a little something at the end of the story to spread awareness and acceptance on autism so today I thought I would just read it out to you I'm sorry if you can hear some noise in the background my neighbors are having <laughs> their drive cleaned and there's nothing I can really do about it so I'm just gonna have to make the best of it and just to see how I go I haven't really practiced saying this chapter but I know know it's going to be a little bit of a long one so I thought I would just read it out from my phone and I write most of my fan fiction on the app Wattpad so if you want to have a look I'll leave a link in the description box below so the chapter I've wrote for the story is called autism what it means to me and the little synopsis behind this chapter is when the character the autistic character in the Hey Arnold fan fiction story whose name is Sarah is given a project by the teachers of PS118 just to actually talk about in front of her class. This is a freelance project and throughout the story she had no clue what to talk about but then during the whole process of the story she secretly thought about autism and this chapter actually talks about how she is presenting it to the whole class. Autism, what it means to me. According to the Oxford Dictionary, autism is a mental condition which can include having difficulty of communicating and forming relationships. However, these are only words. The Oxford Dictionary doesn't tell us how people see and embrace autism. In my opinion, it is a gift and not a label. A condition? Yes, but it's never a curse. One in every 150 people in the world have autism. That's about 0.667% of the world's population. But I'm no good at maths, so I could be wrong. What I'm not wrong about is how autism has changed my life. Autism can be challenging, not just for families and friends, but for individuals too. Sudden changes and diversions, seen over sensitive to noise or learning to travel or by themselves. These are the things that children and adults on the spectrum go through every day. Sometimes attempting to mask their anxiety or a meltdown can be difficult. I heard stories of how many are being judged and bullied everywhere they go and it leaves them feeling isolated, frightened or very upset. I was a person who always gets bullied, first in the school playground, then on the streets as I would walk to the local hospital or Kensington Gardens. It made me feel very vulnerable and all I wanted to do was to shut myself away from the world. Luckily I had friends to help me through it all. They listened to me and treated me like a human being instead of a label. When I'm feeling sad or guilty of my autism, I always take the time to think and find ways to make me feel better. A close friend of mine taught me a little trick by imagining a spell out. A. Acceptance. Am I self-accepting myself? If not, why? You Understand. Am I understanding the world around me? Am I understanding the feelings inside me? T. Trust. Do I trust myself to complete a task or to make conversation? I. Identity. 
what's the story behind me? What's the story that's in front of me? Is it the people around me or is it only me? S. Say. Say how you feel. Are you happy or are you not happy today? M. Mighty. Remind yourself how strong you are. You are mighty. You can do anything. It's true. Anyone can do anything. Before I learned how to self-accept, I felt alone. Now I see the world very differently. I don't feel invisible and isolated anymore. Instead, I feel accepted and loved. My world is inclusive and I feel very happy, but I know that not everybody is lucky. However, there are ways that you can help someone who is on the autistic spectrum. You can help them with certain tasks or when they are feeling upset. You can include them in groups or you can have a conversation with them. The world is continuing to change, so why not start? Autism awareness is continuing to grow and I have a feeling that it will never ever stop. I'm autistic and I am proud. And that concludes the end of the chapter. And if you want to know what happens next, Sarah actually got an A in her project. So she got a very happy ending. And I really, really hoped that to give you a little bit of an insight on how Autistic Pride Day means so much to the autistic community. And that's really all I have to say because I covered it so much in the story. So with that, I'm going to be drawing this video to a close. I hope you really, really enjoyed this. It's not a very interesting video, but I really wanted to give you an insight on what autism not only means to a fictional character, but also means to me as a writer. And before I go, I want to leave you guys with a question. What are you planning to do for Autistic Pride Day? Are you doing something special with your family and friends? Or are you going to a little celebration event or a parade? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would really love to see what you get up to today. And until then guys, keep on dreaming and never stop believing. And next time I will see you on Wednesday. Take care of yourselves and have a brilliant Autistic Pride Day. Bye bye!